so glad she did. I totally love it. Fridays along with surprise uploads. Just join the party and then you won't have to miss anything. All you need to do is click that subscribe button down below and if you already have subscribed thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Today I am bringing you another wig review and she is a subscriber request. Don't forget I do take those so if you would like me to review one for you let me know. And she didn't come out all that long ago so I'm glad I finally got her and I will tell you every little detail you need to know. Please give me your respectful thoughts down in the comments as well. So let's talk about her and today I have got Outre's Jolie. She is an HD lace front. I have her in the color DRFF Cajun Spice. She does come in quite a lot of other colors, 10 of them to be exact. Some of them are the special ones that they do an upcharge for unfortunately. She has a pre-plucked lace parting, is heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and I picked her up from Elevate Styles for $26.99. And this is Jolie. Really pretty waves. So for now, let's take a look at her cap construction. That HD lace looks nice and transparent. I do see some baby hairs as well. On the inside, let's see what she's got going on. And there is her parting space. She's got one comb over here on this side and then one comb over here on this side. So this one here is closer to the part. Then she does also have a comb in the back, plus she has adjustable straps. Typical breathable mesh lining. Let me stretch her out here. Ooh. Actually, the stretchability isn't all too bad. To me, that looks like she might be larger head friendly. So I'll go put her on, style her up, and be right back with my final thoughts. All right, guys, here is Jolie. I actually didn't want to pick her up because I thought she looked too much like Melanie from Bobby Boss. And I do see some similarities between them, but I think that Jolie has more waves, and they're very beautiful waves, soft and loose. Looks like you just spent the entire day at the beach. Just gorgeous. I think that her length is perfect for this style too. I'm five foot five, so I'm putting her at probably about 26 inches. I like the way they did the cut here on the ends as well. Now she does have some layering going on too that does give her some extra oomph. Density is perfect. And I think that she would look really good if you did trim her at this length. And I know a lot of people will trim the longer units because they get rattier at the ends and they get rattier quicker. But I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that with her. 
because she's really not tangling much, which totally it took me by surprise. I thought she was going to tangle more than she is. I'm only coming across a couple tangles here and there, and they come out so quickly and easily. So for the most part, you can just run your fingers through her. They just glide right through. That is absolutely amazing. So I don't think she's going to be difficult to maintain throughout the day, and I think she is going to last you a lot longer. Shedding, on the other hand, I'm not really considering that excessive, just the normal amount, so not anything to be concerned about. But this color is where it's all at. I totally love good reds. This is a beautiful red color. And the subscriber who requested I review her asked that I pick her up in this specific color. So glad she did. I totally love it. But um, it's not the first time I have reviewed this color either. But I do think that it can vary a little bit between the styles. In fact, I reviewed Davy in this color. And it was beautiful, but... I actually think it looks better here on Jolie because I think they did a better job with the blending. It's gorgeous color. You do have the darker root here, which is probably a number two, but it comes down and blends really well. And it even goes down even further into these different tones of copper. Very vibrant, just gorgeous red. It just really is vibrant and pops, especially since it is face framing. It's just absolutely stunning. I think the luster on it is really good too. I've mentioned this before. I will mention it again that the reds can tend to look a little too shiny at times, but not with this one. So I think it looks like natural healthy hair. The texture I absolutely love as well. She is a light yakky. I don't feel any silkiness in there, just a softer yakky. It feels amazing. It feels realistic and soft. And this is another unit that I would recommend as being a good multicultural one. So let's take a look at her from the side and the back. Okay, let me just pull it all forward. I think she looks very pretty draped or even half and half like this. I think that looks a little bit more glamorous. So you can have some variety that way. But she is a right-sided part. And the only complaint I really have has to do with the parting space. Now it does lay nice and flat, which I think is good. It was very easy to blend the actual parting space. But right up in here, there's the knots and those are standing out to me more than I would want them to. <laughs> I cannot seem to get those to blend properly no matter how many different coats of powder I use or no matter what shades of powder I use, they're still being seen. But I do like the baby hairs. I think those are really, really good. They're in the right place and everything. So you can do different things with them. And the sides here, same thing. I'm not able to blend this as well because you can see those knots. So here are my own baby hairs. So obviously you can tell that is a wig. The only good thing is it's covered up. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it, but if you do want to tuck behind the ear, that's when you're going to have an issue. This side, not as bad as this one. You got a little bit more lift up because it is heavier on this side too but I do think that if you want to blend your own baby hairs on this side, it will be easier. But then again, it could just be my unit. You never know, that can happen. She does fit very, very comfortably. I do think she's also larger head friendly. I did have to adjust this adjustable straps a little bit tighter and you saw what good stretchability she has as well. I do actually like this unit. She is beautiful. I'm just gonna have a hard time deciding between her and Melanie when I want this type of style. <laughs> it just will depend on the color I want because Bobby Boss does not have a DRFF Cajun Spice. So I am giving her the thumbs up. Highly recommend this unit. If you haven't picked her up already, you really should. If you did get her, 
let me know. I'd like to know what color you have her in. And if you now decide to get her after watching this review, please let me know that as well. Don't forget to give me your respectful comments down below. And also check out the description box. As I do in every video, I did put the link to my Poshmark closet. For me to keep buying more wigs, I need to sell more wigs. So please check out my closet and I will just see you all in my next video. So till then, bye-bye.